What's up, Frankers? Today I'm going to show you all how to make fucking plants on your layered terrain. As you can see right here, we got the two tall plants, and we got the one tall plant, and we got the three tall plants. And I'm going to show you how to do all three of those things in this video right now, right here. Alright, so I'm in World Painter now, right? We got the map from last time. I'm just going to recycle the terrain we used for the biomes thing. Um, I already put see our grass layer over the whole thing so you can see what the plant layer look like once we like with, with layers because who gives a shit about full blocks okay so anyway you want to make a plant layer to cover your terrain right because you know that shit is important you're just going to click on that little plus symbol down here under layers you're going to click add a custom ground cover layer boom same way as you would you would add layers like uh layered grass or whatever to your terrain you're going to click that I'm gonna click the little uh, Lego brick. Um, let's call this, I don't know, plants. Uh, we're gonna do complex. So simple is just one plant layer. You can do uh, one plant type. You can do this for, I don't know, like grass, cover the whole thing with just normal like, grass. But we wanna do complex because I'm gonna try to add a couple of different types, you know. Which one of these you choose is just how the pattern of the plants is, like how they're mixed up. Noise would be completely like noisy right blobs would be that the different plants come like blobs i suppose <laughs> really much more you can say that let's add i don't know how many how many do we want to add like uh, four let's do the five for sure double click this one custom conquest uh i don't know let's start with something easy common meadow grass boom here this is the important part you're gonna to want to click that and you want to click layers again and type it eight and the reason for this is because we want the layers to actually sink down onto the grass layers like the grass block layers that we have underneath them that's why we need their eight different uh, states you know so we're gonna do that we got that we're gonna just click okay boom we got the first one done uh, let's do I don't know which one's a good one um, Sweet grass. Let's do sweet grass. Same thing. Layers. Eight. A few moments later. Okay, now that you added however many different types of plants you want to have in your terrain, here on the side you can change the ratio that they are to one another. So, for example, I don't know, this is like in percentage or something like that. I don't fucking know. Um, but this is the ratio to one another. One another. So now each one is one fifth. Uh, if you make one of these higher, so for example, if I made uh, common meadow grass fucking to nine, it's gonna be three times as high as these other four. But uh, right now, I'm not, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna leave these at three and we'll leave them all at three. Honestly, I have no clue how this is gonna look. Yeah, now we're gonna click OK. This thing should pop up now, so now you can see that they're starting to work with the plant layer. I'm just gonna call this plants. Give it a nice color. What color is a good planty color? That's nice and planty. And now comes an important bit. So you definitely want to click smooth. That way it's it smooths out over the layers that we already have underneath. And another really important part is that you want to change the thickness from one to two. Because we already have on the on the first layer, we already have uh, our grass block layers, so our conquest layers, right? And the second layer will now be our foliage layer. So one above that. If you're using full blocks and you didn't add any like conquest layers, then you can leave it at one. And then it'll just be on top of the full blocks. That works as well. But we're going to add this to and we're just going to click OK. And now we should have, see, boom, plants in our custom layers thing. Yeah. So I'm just going to do fill with layer. I'm going to click on global operations, fill with layer, plants. And I don't know if there's any somewhere specific we want to have it. I'm just going to go the whole thing. Go. <laughs> Okay, the entire map is now covered in covered in plants layers, and let's check it out in game. All right, so I'm in game now, and as you can see, it seemed like the plants like it worked. So, yeah, I mean, of course, this is like an absolutely terrible palette that I chose. I don't know why I chose. This is just like the first few that came to mind. But let's see if we got all five of the ones that I added. There's that. Is that yeah timothy grass common meadow grass sweet grass dooryard dock and wormwood all right so our plants layer worked all the plants got imported into game they fit the layers 
you can use this same the same method of doing things that I just did with the plants. You can use for rocks as well. So if you want those little stones, the small stones and stuff like that on your rock faces to give it a rougher look. They work the same way as plants. They also sink down on top of layers, so that'll work fine. Alright, so that was the easiest, that was the easiest uh, way of doing or the easiest type of plants to do. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to do uh, two tall or three tall or like multiple block tall plants which sometimes can get a little bit iffy you know when, when it comes to just doing this kind of stuff so we're gonna start doing the same thing add a custom ground cover layer uh, let's go custom this time I'm only gonna do one type instead of doing the complex one let's do uh, what's a two tall uh, rushes conquest rushes you can stack multiple on top of each other and they connect to one another layers layer eight boom okay boom okay now we got conquest rushes we got a layer of conquest rushes i'm gonna start with the first layer so we're just gonna go up one thickness to smoothness that i'm gonna give it the brownish type of look something like that yeah looks cool let's call it rushes oops rushes there add that boom and now comes the hard part to do too tall we actually have to add another one for the second height so we're gonna have to do add a custom ground cover layer again add another one we're gonna have to go custom rushes again plus layers eight. Oh my god this is, always, this is always really irritating, especially when you start doing like plants that are four or five blocks high because you need one layer for each one of the heights. But it's better than having to do it all by hand, so. Brushes two. Smooth. And now for the second layer, we already got thick thickness one is the, the, the dirt layer at the bottom. Thickness two is where all the other plants are. That's also where the first rushes layer is. And now we have to go thickness three to get it on the third layer, right? Let's give this one a blue color. I don't know why, I just want to. Rushes to the, the. Yeah. Uh, we can honestly we can go third one. A few moments later. All right, so now we're here. I just did the third rushes. Third, the third rush, rushes, I don't know. We already have the first two is for the layer one and layer two, and now we're gonna have to add a fourth thickness to do the third layer of rushes, right? So we do that, click smooth. Choose a nice color, and boom, we're done. Now we got three layers of brushes. <laughs> I'm gonna choose my little brush here, and then I'm gonna get myself a little, little thing like this. I'm gonna do brushes one first. Yeah. Oops, that's actually kind of ugly. Why is it so weak? Yeah, that's more like it. Now this looks ugly as hell. Yeah, that is just hideous. But it'll serve good for the tutorial. <laughs> that looks very, very strange. Okay, so now we have, now the issue that we have is we have rushes and plants. And because plant suite is, is higher than rushes, the plants will always uh, come, come above the rushes layer as we can only have one block there at the same time, right? So we're gonna have to do global operations, remove a layer, plants, only on, uh, where is it, layer, rushes go see boom now everywhere where it's brown the plants layer has been removed but you still have the little in between areas which is nice now we're gonna do rushes two okay now comes the fun part right because we don't want all to be two, two or three high we only want some of them to be two or three high right so we're gonna do rushes two and on the side here we're gonna click only on layer rushes and i don't know if you can see it it's very very light but they are painting it. Bam. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing. Rushes three. Only on. <laughs> layer. Rushes two. And you can hardly even see it anymore. Wait, I don't know. Can you even see it? I don't even know. Is it even painting? It's so light, I can barely see. You know, we can, we can turn off the... Uh, this and this and there you can see it see so i think wait yeah it's there see that's that that's that and that's that 
So we got all three of them here. Boom. Nice. Now I'm just going to export this in the game. We're going to see what it looks like. All right. So, as you can see, the rushes have imported into game. They are all connected to one another and they are on the right height. And we got, we should have some of them that are tall. Okay, so here we see we have some that are two blocks tall, some that are three blocks tall. We should have some that are one block tall as well, unless I accidentally painted on all of them. So here are some one block tall ones. And of course, okay, I did this in five seconds, so you could have definitely uh, spent more time doing this type of stuff. But it's more to like demonstrate how it works, you know. Because of course, you wouldn't want to have something looking like this in your world, right? This transition from, from one block tall to three block tall is kind of abrupt but it serves purpose for the tutorial and they're all like all the three block tall ones are all still sunk down onto the layers right they're all connected nothing's floating yeah if you added some water and some cool different foliage and stuff like that and added some more like rushes like uh let me think we got the normal rushes but you could also add like reeds and shit like that see that connects on top of each other i feel like this one would look really good even at like taller heights i see that one you can even go four blocks tall so you would have to add a fifth layer on that if you wanted to. That would look great. That sort of stuff would look great. Maybe not that tall, but you get the gist. Said sadly you can't stack. But this one dry reads. Those you can stack. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, mix that up. Get a nice little like grassy swampland type thing going on. Here we have some of the normal, the normal plants still in between. All right. Last plant type I'm going to show you how to put on your terrain is full block, like full leaf blocks and stuff like that. Because I don't know, so I, don't, I, use, I like to use them every once in a while. You got to use them sparingly, right? Because too much is always a bad thing. Uh, but they, they do generally, they look good in certain, certain cases. So to add full leaf blocks and not as like a ground, not as like a, a ground thing but like as a cover layer you're gonna want to add another custom ground cover layer right add the plus we've done this a thousand times custom let's do um beach what is it called it's called beach tree leaves beach tree leaves yeah that's what it's called this time we don't need this we do not need this at all that's all we need we just gonna click okay Little beech tree leaves because it's a full block we don't have any layers or anything like that right I don't even know if we need the smooth I don't think we need the smooth to be honest leaves and let's give it let's give it like a pink <laughs> alright so we got that thickness we want to leave the thickness at one right because it should be on the same level because if, if we go to two it's going to be floating in some spots and we don't really want that either um, if you want to do two on top of one another, then you can do a second layer. That generally would look good as well. But I'm going to start off with one. Yeah, I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to get the uh, spray paint can. Last thing we want to do is we want to remove the grass. Because otherwise you're going to have grass on top of the thing. And I don't know if you want that. So I'm going to just remove, uh, remove the layer plants. Only on layer leaves. All right, so I'm in game as you can see it worked. We got things here Although I chose probably the dentist this density is probably way too high for what you're looking for and honestly I'm not sure if I'd recommend Using this too much because in some places. I mean it looks cool. Don't get me wrong But it is a bit wonky having it like sunk down into the layers and stuff If you added like another one on top of it, then it could probably work even better to be honest like have some of those somewhere like that it just looks like bushes and stuff but yeah so that works um one more thing once you join the world before you run over here set your game your random tick speed to zero because otherwise these leaves are going to start just disappearing and you don't really want that I don't know, it's like a really brute force way to do it, and I'm sure there's another way to do it, but that's the one way that I think of right now. Yeah, no, so there's not a way to turn off leaf to count on these. You can turn them off on schematics, but you sadly can't turn them off on the ground cover layer, so... If you use leaves, try to set your spawn point somewhere that it's far enough away that you don't load the leaves right away. And that way you have enough time to turn on the random tick speed zero. And that way they don't disappear either. 
All right, y'all. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and this was at least useful to some of you. And yeah, if you if you had any problems with this, there's gonna be a video called Troubleshooting on my channel. You can click that there. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm try to go through all the fixes I know for different terrain issues. Who knows? Maybe there were some issues with this and didn't work for you guys. Yeah. So either ask me in the comments below if you have like an issue, or wait till that video drops. And there, I hopefully gets covered. If you're interested in doing other parts of terrain making, there are other videos on my channel that show how to shape terrain, how to make layers, and how to do biomes. Check those out. Yeah, honestly, I don't really give a fuck. I'm out. Bye.